Welcome to a Fifth of Jack Gaming, where we're going to be diving in with a fresh new series that we're going to be having. This is a continuation from last year's videos when we compared how it is from shipping from different places to order our books from. So, we're going to have each Monday, starting today, Welcome to a Fifth of Jack Gaming, where we're going to be having a nice new series starting today. It's going to have each Monday is going to end up dropping a new video all the way throughout February into March. What's that video? That video is going to be covering of where should you order your books? What's the best place to order your books? And what can you expect from each one? So we're going to take a five point system. Two points being right from when you put it into your cart and set the order. And then three points of being at when it gets here. What's inside the box? How well is it packed? Are we happy with the results of it? What should we be expecting? So we're doing that with six different people. We have Book Outlet. We have Hamilton Books. We also have Amazon. Cheap Graphic Novels. In Stock Trades. And finally, but not least, the Channel Affiliate Organic Price Books. Organic Price Books last year was the one that brought home the trophy for being the best company for, to be able to go to. Will that still stand? Well, you have to stay tuned to find out. Today's video is going to feature Book Outlet where we're going to be able to see how they end up doing and how well, see how well that they end up packing their books and how well the experience was with ordering that books. And then the next five videos is going to have the different companies. So Book Outlet is going to be the first one, obviously. The second one is going to be Hamilton Books. The third one is going to end up being Amazon. Fourth is going to be Cheap Graphic Novels. Fifth is going to be In Stock Trades. Former Champion is going to be the last video. So there's going to be number six. It's going to be Organic Price Books. So if this is something you're interested into, so hit that little subscribe button to be notified or hit that little subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified whenever new content drops. Again, this is going to be an experience for you and me to be able to try figuring out where should we be spending our money and what kind of quality can we be expecting from it. After we get done going through all those videos, there will be one more follow up video that will give the general update to everything and how the overall experience and celebrating whoever the winner is at the end of this. So who do you think is going to end up winning? Let us know down in the comments down below. All right, so we're going to start off. We got this order. We ordered it up having two orders that came off it from Book Outlet. Two different orders right here, just to see how they ended up going. So we'll feel it out, see how it goes, and find out how it ends up stacking. So the first thing is, before we end up cracking into these boxes, their minimum order for to get free shipping is 35 bucks, which isn't bad. If you're going to pick up a book, 35 bucks is chunks change, especially in the obvious or any kind of trade route. So that's going to be nice. They had a pretty quick timetable of from order to shipping, which was like a day. And in the process of the shipping, it went over pretty stellar with it. So something that I like that's a little bit different out of the box is I do like it how it has plastic all the way around it. Gives it a chance to be able to be protected from the elements just in case it gets left outside and it's like raining or snowing. I live in Michigan, so you're going to end up having those kind of effects. And you never know what's going to happen in Michigan and that prepares it for that. So that's something that I do like about it. Or let's see what we have beyond the plastic. All right, so that has the plastic layer, or the plastic gone. The box is still pretty thin. So that's something I don't end up liking. But also, the box has this little pull tab that says pull here. Let's see if we can capture this bad boy. So,
It's very easy. So immediately I have to say, I don't really care for how thin the box is. And another thing is, as you can see, there's a lot of values for it to be able to slide back and forth for it to kind of damage with it. So the big thing about Book Outlet is that they normally have books that are half price. And then they have them on sale on top of that. And so this one is Black Widow. It strikes a good old, I want to say this is a standard cover. But this was on nicely on sale. So that's number one. And we'll open up both boxes and then we'll go over the books themselves. So first box has that one. Center, it works out better. And that's how the second one's packed. We got the standard version of Alias. Something I've been actually looking and eyeing up. You know, we kind of went on a Chip Stowski run. So we got Howard the Duck. Both standard covers that came out of the thing. Honestly, it went a little bit better. Got the little corners. The plastic did a little bit slide. And there's a little bit of a flex to this book. I don't think I've seen that before. Where there's a slight little bend to the book itself. Which is kind of weird. But overall, I would have to say it came out decent. We got Howard the Duck. Solid corner, solid corner, spine. This is a smaller Ami, so it's not kind of a surprise. One through five, one through 11, number six. Yeah, yeah, okay. And the final one. That looks good. Looks good. It's a nice little breakdown. Nice, I got some mini little haul. I guess we could end up breaking it down. This thing's gonna be a dandy haul for whenever this video ends up dropping. So the value is there for shipping. When we offer or the minimum amount to have free shipping was thirty-five bucks, which is a solid amount, which is understandable. And then the timetable was pretty quick of a turnover with it. As I say, I think it was within a couple of days that they ended up actually shipping out the order. So they automatically got two marks. And now it comes down to how well it was packed. I would deduct a point for that because they were pretty much loosely in there. There was nothing preventing them from moving around. So that subtracts a point. And then the box themselves is a pretty thin box, but I would say they make up for that pretty thin box with having the plastic on the outside trying to protect that box from the weather and the elements. So that gives it a score of four out of five because they lost the point, but they got it back with a plastic because it's kind of a neat little way to be able to make sure you have the book protected. So book outlet, you got four out of five. Pretty solid benchmark that came out of that and especially the first time around. So the big thing is also is that this is not going to be a readily resource or this isn't going to be a readily resource where you can end up actually ordering your books from because they ended up just getting, I think, the overstocks or anything like that. And that's what they ended up having and they ended up reducing it. So it's kind of like an Ollie's version of a store that you can end up going. So if they happen to have something that you're looking for, that'd be a nice little way to be able to get it get it shipped over as well. Shipping wise, I would say that you can end up trusting it, that it will end up getting there. Get it in there in mint condition, that's a different story because there's A, space that's in between the books, and B, there's a thin box that comes over with it. Granted, they ended up double layering it in the process to protect the top and the bottom, 
and they have the plastic on the outside. The plastic on the outside is kind of a little bit of a game changer for me because that protects it from the elements from the rain and snow and stuff like that. All right, so that's Book Outlet. So if you're liking the content or putting up, like, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon to be notified whenever we come off new content. Thank you for watching, and until next time, we'll see you later.